Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following 9x9 Sudoku. A Sudoku is a puzzle in which players insert the numbers 1 to 9 into a grid consisting of 9 squares subdivided into a further 9 smaller squares in such a way that every number appears once in the horizontal line and also in the vertical line together with in each square. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for solutions to more math puzzles. In this example, the aim is to start with the easy column, row or the easy box. In this particular example, I'm going to start with the middle box at the top such that if I look at the numbers in it, I have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 9. 3 is missing, 6 is missing, and 8 is missing. Let's start with 6. If you look at this column, I already have 6, so I can have another 6 in the empty box. I have 6 in this column already, so I can have another 6 on that row. Likewise, if I go horizontally, I already have a 6 here, so I can have another 6 in this box. So the missing box or the missing number in the only open box will be 6 because I don't have another 6 in that row or in that column or within that box. Then I'm going to look for another number. I have 3. If you look at the first row, I already have 3 in that row. So therefore, I can fill the empty space with another 3. So the only missing space that I can fill with 3 is the middle one. And then because if you look at that square, I already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. The last number will be the number 8. So I've been able to fill that box with the numbers 1 to 9. So... In no particular order, I'll keep looking for is a rows or boxes to fill. I'm going to go to this one. If you look at this box, 5 is missing. And I can see that on this row, I already have a 5. I already have another 5 on this row, so I can fill the marked boxes with 5. Then if you look at this column, I already have a 5. So I'm going to fill in the missing or the last empty box with a 5. Then I'll try 6. 6 in the box. I already have a 6 on this column. Then I already have another 6 in this column. And then I have one empty box. So that would definitely be a 6. Then I'm going to look for other numbers to fill. I have, okay, I can see the other boxes are a bit difficult for me to fill, so I go to another box. And the first box, I have the number 2 already existing in this row. I have 2 in this row. And if I go to the columns, I have 2 in this column. I have just one more box to fill, so that would definitely be a 2. The next step. I'm going to try a 1. I have 1 in this row and I have 1 in this column. I have one more box to fill, so that would definitely be a 1. I'll take out. Then in that particular box, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is missing. So I have 5 in this row. I have one more box to fill, that would definitely be a 5. I'm left with seven and nine and because if you look at what i have i don't have any existence of seven and nine in this column or in this row so i will move to another box if you look at the third row i have numbers one two four six seven eight and nine the numbers three and five are missing so i'm going to check the column five is already in this column so I cannot put 5 again in this column. So what I'm going to do is place my 5 in this box 
because I don't have any 5 in that column. And then on that row, the last number to get up to 9 will be 3. So I've been able to complete this row with the numbers 1 to 9. The next step is to look for another column or another row. And then I'm going to try it 4 in this box. You can see that I already have a 4 on this row. So therefore the mixing box here will be 4. I will go to another column or another row. Looking through, I have in this box, if you look at what I have, I have 2 in this column. I also have 2 in this row. I have one box empty, so that would definitely be a 2. And then I can use that to solve some other rows or column because I can see a lot of 2s. So if you look at this row, I already have 2. I have 2 in this row and I also have 2 in this column. So the missing box will be a 2. I can use that marking also for 2. I have 2 here. All the lighted rows and columns already have 2s. And then I have 2 in this row. So the missing spot here will be a 2. And if you look at the last box on my right, I already have a 2, I have a 2, and then I have a 2 in this column. I have a 2 in this column. The missing box here will be a 2. So sometimes if you have a particular number occurring in a lot of places, you can use it to solve the content of other boxes using the same number. So now that I have I have two in every mini box, so I can strike out two. I'm done with filling my twos. And then I can go to other numbers. I'll try eight. Eight is already existing in this column, and eight is existing in this column. So definitely the empty box here will be eight. And then I'll try nine. Nine is existing in this column. Nine is existing in this column. So therefore, I'm going to slot in my 9 as shown. Likewise, if you look at this middle box, I'm still going to work with that. Let me try 4. I can see that I have 4 in this row. And I also have 4 existing in that row. So the missing box in the middle square box will be a 4 in the same box because I can see I have three more boxes to fill. I'm going to try three. Three is existing in this column. So therefore the last missing box will be a three. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm left with seven and eight. Eight is existing on this row. So therefore the missing box here is eight. And the last number will be a seven. And then I have seven in this columns, and then I have seven in this row. The missing box here will be a seven. And if you look at that row, I'm almost done. I already have numbers one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm left with the number three. Three, and then in the row immediately above it, I'm left with the number nine here. And then if I check in this column, I already have 9. So therefore the missing spot here will be a 9. And then I'm left with the number 1. I've been able to fill 3 boxes. Then I go to the remaining boxes. I have 1, 2. I can see 3 in this column. So the missing box will be a 3. And because I'm, I'm left with one number in that box, that will be the number 1. Also, if I check this column, I have the numbers 9, 8, 7. 6 is missing. I have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So definitely this will be a 6. And if you check, 
on this row I already have a 6 on this row I already have a 6 so in this box this will be a 6 and then if I check I have in this column or in this row I have 9 the last number here on this column is a 9 and if you check the row the last number missing will be a 1 I can use that to solve other boxes I have one in this column I have one in this column so the missing number here will be a 1 I can use that to see if I have one in this row and another one in this row the missing number here is a 1 so already I have one in every box so I can take out my one in this column can you tell me the number left? That's 987654. You're right. I'm left with the number 4. Also in the next column beside it, I have 987 is missing. 654321. So definitely the number missing will be the number 7. I can take out my highlight. In that box, I'm left with the number 8 and the number three i already have eight in this row so the last box will be a eight and then the one above it will be a three so nine cannot be in this row and because i need another nine for this oh i already have a nine in that column i'm left with nine that's a seven so i'm going to try seven seven cannot be in this row so I will try the last empty box will be a 7 and if you look at I'm going to take out the other light quickly if you look at this square box the last number will be the number 9 and then in that column I have the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 I'm left with the number 7. The last number in the first box, square box, is a 9. I've been able to insert 9 in all the boxes, so I can strike out the number 9. Then I have in this row, 9, 7, 8, 6, 5. The number 4 is missing. And in that box, the number 3. Then if I go ahead, I'm going to have the number 3 here. Why? Because I already have a 3 and the columns are lighted. The only free box will be the one I have. The last numbers left are the numbers 4 and 7. I'm not going to put a 4 on this row because I already have a 4. So the last box will be a 4. And then empty box given will be the number seven so four and seven are also out thanks for watching bye